Kamal Newsix has learned from several reports that while KP Sharma Oli is busy altering the map on the Indian side, uh, the Rui village in North Gorkha in Nepal has been captured by China. As per uh, some Nepal sources, the government is hiding the issue of encroachment of Chinese in these villages. The boundary pillars of uh, this village have been removed to legalize the encroachment. Ashish, well, on one side, Nepal is, uh, you know, busy crying foul over those uh, three places which they apparently say have been uh, taken away by India. But they are, you know, turning a blind eye to actually what's going on to some of their villages which are uh, being uh, encroached upon by the Chinese. Well, the uh, Nepalese have already started uh, paying back for uh, what they uh, have been doing as far as the uh, long term, the cultural and the uh, strategic alliance with India is concerned. They have betrayed India in the uh, last uh, uh, two, three weeks and uh, that's exactly where they are realizing now that the, uh, the specific uh, village that you mentioned, uh, you know, there are 70 plus homes in that particular village which basically borders with uh, China uh, in the uh, northern uh, Gorkha region. Now, those villagers claim that they are Nepalese, but effectively, if you look at the admin... Okay, we've seen uh, to have lost the connection with Ashi Singh, but uh, once again, folks, villages in Nepal are being uh, taken over by the Chinese government, but Nepal is not making any hue and cry over that. But when it comes to uh, India, a country that has supported and been friendly with them for decades and centuries now. They have gone uh, uh, so far as to change their constitution and put in some amendments to make sure that uh, their Nepal, uh, that Nepal and its map is sovereign to them. And Ashish is back with us. Ashish, we had lost you there in the middle. Please go back to where you uh, left off. Yes, uh, Vinit. So what I was explaining, basically, there are 70 odd uh, uh, houses in that particular uh, Rui village, uh, which basically is in the uh, northern uh, Gorkha region and uh, shares border with uh, China. These uh, uh, local villages, uh, they believe they are Nepalese. They are. But at the same time, if you look at the uh, administration and the operational control point of views, uh, it's, it's the Chinese government and the provincial uh, government that's uh, controlling them. Now, when you have Chinese land grabbers, the biggest land grabbers of the world, uh, they encroaching and not even leaving, uh, say, a, a small country like uh, Nepal, this is exactly where Nepal must realize what they're doing. The signs of it were uh, visible for almost the last one decade's time, since the time the Chinese came up with the concept of one belt, uh, one road. Look at the way they have uh, grabbed uh, lands and the uh, multiple uh, other countries, the smaller ones primarily, with the smaller geography and smaller economy, they are under tremendous debt as far as the Chinese government is concerned and their projects are concerned from Pakistan to Sri Lanka from uh, Maldives to uh, Nepal uh, mm -hmm. multiple examples are there I'm not even going to uh, uh, African and the uh, other regions but mm -hmm. the Nepalese uh, government must realize forget about the money that they are getting uh, from the Chinese side forget about the uh, communist ideology ultimately you are losing the uh, uh, land and the border which is basically the uh, sovereignty and the integrity of any country for more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.